we are going to solve this system right here. And I have already taken this system and written it as a matrix because I like them. I like solving matrices. Um, so I'm going to make some zeros. And I think I have a lot of options. I'm going to make a zero here and a zero here just because I have all these twos. It just looks easy. Um, one thing I can do is then I can add row one to row two, and there'll be a zero there. So I'm going to go row one plus row two, throw it into row two. Um, the other thing I can do is if I want to get rid of this one, I could just add row two to row three. So um, row two plus row three, and then I'm going to put that into row three. So first row is going to be unchanged, uh, 3, 2, 5, 20. The next row, row 1 plus row 2. So 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. 5 plus 4 is 9. 20 plus 3 is 23. Then my next one, row 2 plus row 3. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 4 plus negative 3 is 1. 3 plus negative 2 is also 1. Great. So now I want to make another 0. I think I'll make one here. Just kind of the two and the four will be easy to uh, easy to deal with. So what I could do is double this uh, row three and subtract it from row two. So I'm going to go two row two minus two row times row three. Put that into row three. So I have uh, three two five twenty. Uh, row two is going to stay unchanged. So if I double this, this is a four. Four minus four is zero. The zeros is going to stay zero. If I double this, is to two. Nine minus two is seven. And if I double this, it's a two as well. Twenty-three minus two is twenty-one. Great. So now I can see what z is right here because um, seven z is twenty-one. So z must be three. And if z is three. Then I can take it and I can plug it into this equation that says 4x, 0y, plus 9z's, z is 3, equals 23. So 4x plus 27 is 23. Subtract so that 27. 4x is negative 4. So x is negative 1. Great. Now I know x and z. I can plug them both into this equation. To get y, because let's see, 3 times x, x is negative 1, plus 2 times y, I don't know why, I don't know what y is, plus 5 times z uh, equals 20, so negative 3 plus 2y plus 15 equals 20. I'm going to be really lazy, I'm just going to subtract 15 from both sides, that makes a 5, add 3, it makes an 8. So 2y is 8. Divide by 2, looks like y must be 4. So I can write my solution out. I can write it as, um, you know, x is negative 1, and y is 4, and z is 3. Or I can write it as the ordered triplet, x, y, z. Either of these are great answers to that question.